If you're new to my channel, I'm turning this full transit into a stealthy off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. And today, I'm going to show you how I do my battens. And I think it's probably the best way you can possibly do battens in a full transit. So let's jump inside and take a look. So I'm back inside the van and I don't notice anything different. <laughs> Right, now the biggest problem with putting battens up in a full transit is this big channel here and it causes this step. So when you put your battens up, I mean it's nice, they go nice up all the way up the edge, all the way up to here, but when you get to the top, you've got this big dip that goes in. And a lot of people bolt timber up here. I can't really show you, but they kind of bolt it like that into a fashion and then um, attach their battens to that. But I don't do that, I'll do this. This is my little step here. And to make this step, I use this piece of timber, which is 34 by 34. Incidentally, this same timber I also use for my framework. Um, and this I use to step it out away from the headrests, if you watch that video. And the, the, the framework for this slider is actually made out of this, and it's 18 by 70. And that goes on there first. I screwed that there first, that's it there. And then you end up, with a step like this on there and it just so happens that the, the thickness of these two pieces of timber together is absolutely perfect for your battens to go down like that absolute absolutely spot on it is and I'll show you when I in a minute when I put the battens up there you'll see now, before I put the battens up what I normally do is put the vapor barrier up first and then the battens go on top of that and now I forgot it. to mention the screws I use I use these self drilling screws they're absolutely brilliant now I love them they're absolutely amazing I've discovered these a little while ago um, and they've got little drill bits on the end now the reason I use these screws and I don't drill into this with a drill like a pilot hole and then put normal screws in is because the back of this channel on the other side of this channel, and it's only about that far away, is the outer skin of the van. So by using these screws and using the right length, I know that I'm not going to drill through there and penetrate the outer skin. It's um, Plus they're really easy to use. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I use these screws. It just prevents you penetrating the outer skin. And this is what the um, baton looks like when it's up. As you can see, it's nice and parallel. This little step I've made is absolutely a perfect height away from the side of the van so you've got something to attach the top to. Otherwise, this will be just floating around or you'll, you'll have a piece of timber bolted to the side. Um, in my opinion, this is the best way to do it. It's absolutely perfect. Using these two pieces of timber make the perfect height for the step to attach the top of the baton. There you go, nice and straight, nice and parallel. And yeah, it's just perfect for putting the cladding across the top this way. Now this piece of timber, this piece of plywood, is actually the plywood liner from the original van. It's the original piece of liner. I've just cut it into strips and attached it to the side. Now this is just temporarily here. I've only put it here tempor temporarily for the sake of this video to show you how it sits so you can actually see because I'm going to take this off now. Well, later on today, I'll, I'll remove this. Then I'll be putting my vapour barrier up. Once the vapour barrier is up, you won't be able to see what's going on behind this. There you go. It looks nice and strong. Oh, cat's coming again. <laughs> right, um, we'll go away. I'm busy. Look. There you go, look. <laughs> Someone said to me you should get the cat in the videos more. <laughs> oh boy. Um, oh, some of you might have noticed this plan. This is the this is how the, the van's going to be laid out. It's going to be laid out completely different to the previous vans I've built. It's a completely new layout for me. I've never done this before. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to doing this. Once I've got all, all the vapour barrier up, the cladding up, then I can... <coughs> Sorry, got a bit hoarse. Yeah, once I've got everything done, then this, this part of the build then begins, which is quite nice. As you can see, we're going to have a, a corner sofa bed at the back of the van. It's going to be pulling out, and then the kitchen unit is going to go right across here, um, yeah, in front of it, behind the slider. So yeah, completely different layout. So I'm really looking forward to building this. But before I do that, I've got to do all this boring stuff. <laughs> So that's my next job. Take this off and then put the vapour barrier up. And the vapour barrier, which I'll keep going on about, is actually this polythene. This is all I use. Nothing fancy, nothing flash. 
it's just household vapor barrier and if it's good enough for a house it's good enough for this fan and this is a massive sheet it's a uh, three three by four meters so it's three meters um by four meters and it's absolutely huge <laughs> the last time i put this up i felt like a naughty kid putting my head inside a carrier bag <laughs> it literally envel envelopes the whole van <laughs> and yeah, it's not easy to do so uh when I do put it up, I put it up the sides, and I, when I get to the middle, I kind of cut it down the middle. And I think it's probably quite dangerous, actually, because yeah, it's just like putting your head inside a carrier bag. Yeah, so, Mum, don't watch the next video. <laughs> Every parent's nightmare, watching their child play with a carrier bag. Uh, and when I get to the middle, um, I put the, the vapour barrier, I wrap it around this frame. So, it wraps around the frame, and then I'll staple it to the side, that way it, calls, it creates an absolute watertight seal so there's no way any moisture is going to get into my insulation that's the plan anyway <laughs> so anyway I'm going to cut that there now I'm going to call it a day I'm going to take this back off of here and then um, you yeah, have something to eat because I'm hungry <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go and get something to eat I'm absolutely starving so if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget, if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss me turning this full transit into a stealthy off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. Ta-da for now, and thanks for watching.